In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the NVIDIA Instant Replay not working on your computer. So the first thing you need to do is head over to an internet browser. And from here, you need to type in NVIDIA app download and hit enter. Then click on the top search result and ensure that you have the official NVIDIA app downloaded. Now, if you're currently using GeForce Experience, then this is actually an outdated app and it's being replaced by the NVIDIA app. So once you've downloaded the NVIDIA app, we're going to launch it up on our computer and then it should bring you to a window that looks something similar to this. Then from the left hand side click on settings. Make sure you have the Nvidia overlay enabled like so and then you need to press alt plus the letter z on your keyboard to bring up the overlay. Then from here click on instant replay and first of all make sure you have instant replay turned on. You can actually try disabling this and turning it back on and sometimes just doing that can fix your issue. Now if that's not working what you'll need to do is close out of this window. Head over to your start menu and just search for windows security and then click on the windows security menu. From here you'll need to select virus and threat protection and then scroll down to ransomware protection and click on manage ransomware protection. Now this is one feature that can interfere with the instant replay so you actually want to make sure this is turned off like so and once you've turned this off you can then check again to see if the instant replay is working. Now if you have tried all of the steps in this video and it's still not working then the last thing I'd recommend doing is just coming over to the settings page on your computer, click on apps from the left hand side and select installed apps. Then using the search box you'll need to type in NVIDIA and then scroll down until you see the NVIDIA application. Then we're just going to click on the three horizontal dots and hit uninstall. And once you've uninstalled this from your computer, you can then head back over to the official NVIDIA website and you need to re-download this to your computer. So it's as simple as that guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.